Welcome to Tape Measure Pencil Knife. Today on Tape Measure Pencil Knife, we're building front porch columns that are tapered, made from exterior MDF. That's like regular MDF, but it can get wet and not swell up and be ruined. They're not structural. The columns are just for looks. What holds up the front porch are pressure treated four by fours. So I'm building three columns. I have three pressure treated four by fours. I put the four by fours in first, wrap them in the exterior MDF, all tapered like. Little on the top, big on the bottom. That's a front porch tapered column. Stop rhyming. Stop right now, don't you start rhyming. For a material list, those are the two materials. Exterior MDF and pressure treated 4x4s. One sheet per column. That's about how it goes. I like to make them about 12 inches on the bottom, 6 inches on the top. You could taper it as much or as little as you want. That's just what I taper mine. Should have I should have thought about the ratio and what to tell you about what ratio to make your columns. I don't I have no idea. My columns are about six foot tall from the pedestal to the front porch beam. Um, and that six feet, I like six inches on top, twelve inches on bottom maybe a little bigger after we wrap them in the base and the top cap you'll see okay tape measure pencil knife front porch tapered columns with pressure treated four by fours in the middle nailed it I'm getting good at this here we go <laughs> by four pressure treated posts are installed perfectly leveled perfectly centered on the beam and the pedestals now the fun part it's time to cut the MDF into the tapered shapes first I'm going to cut the height of the columns these are 64 inch columns that's a 96 inch sheet of MDF from top to bottom and I want to cut it off at 64 inches and I have a little trick. I don't know if it's a trick. It's just the, the way I do it. Uh, maybe everybody does it this way. I turn one 
sawhorse this way and one sawhorse this way. That way when I cut off the, the top, it doesn't just fall on the floor. It's balanced on that T-shaped sawhorse configuration. Okay, let's measure 64 inches, make a straight line, and cut it. Let's do this. I don't know why I switched to that voice. It's not important. Well, then, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a... This is the bottom, bottom, okay? We're going to mark the bottom, 12 inches over. Right on the edge, 12 inches. Now we go to the top. The center is gonna be six inches, 12 inches is at the bottom. So from our six inch mark, we're gonna go three inches both ways, one, two, three, make a mark from six, one, two, three, make a mark. Now we have a six inch top of our column and it's going to taper to 12 inches at the bottom of the column down there. The next step, we connect the dots from there to our 12 inch mark right there. Now, from the bottom of our corner. Now all you have to do is cut it out. These are what I use to make a very straight cut with a skill saw or a circular saw, whatever you wanna call it. I will measure one and a half inches from the blade to the edge. So I can then clamp this board one and a half inches from my line. Then I will slide this along this board while the saw is actually going, creating a very straight line. Tricks of the trade, my friends. Perfectly straight lines every time. Don't start round again. Okay, it's time to start cutting. Let's cut these exterior MDF sheets into 12 perfect tapered sides and then start gluing and shooting. Glue, shoot, install. Here we go.
tapered column pieces are cut. The next step is gluing and shooting them together. Type bond two, no, type bond three. This one is the uh, waterproof exterior interior. Two inch straight nails, 16 gauge. That's what I use to shoot it together. You could use 15 gauge, 18 gauge, I don't think it matters. Over time, the glue holds it together. When the nails rust and turn into garbage. All right, I'm going to glue and nail three of the four sides together on all three columns. Then I could slide it on the four by four and add that fourth side. Then add the cap and the base. Yep, that's it. That's the order in which things go. Let's do it.
tapered columns are finished, except for sanding the top caps and the bottom base cap, which are really just four inch strips. This is what I'm going to make the caps out of. The, uh, the leftover, this was the cutoff. Whichever side I did not cut is the side I'm gonna use because it's the factory side, it's nice and straight. I've set up my table saw with a little, with a little feed table. You could still use the skill saw for this part as well. Just set your board back up and clamp it. Slide the skill saw along, make nice straight cuts. Then I'm going to cut a piece, take it over there to the columns, set it on there and scribe both sides because it's tapered, right? Can't just make square bases. They have to be tapered bases as well. Once I have those two marks, I'll bring it to the miter saw and find the angle and bevel to 45 degrees, cut it on that angle, and then repeat that times 12, and then do the top and repeat that times 12, and then we'll glue and nail those on. Let's do this. I'm gonna turn this into a bunch of four inch strips and then, and then I'm gonna cut the angles on them. Right, right before I'm about to put my hand against the lens, I always turn into Batman voice. Real angry. Here we go. Table saw, four inch strips, let's do this.
That's all, my friends. The end of how to build tapered columns. MDF, no, exterior MDF tapered columns. They look weird at this angle. Don't look at them right now. Uh, you may have noticed on the caps, I left them down about a sixteenth of an inch from the beam. And you may have noticed there's no metal on the beam yet. Those two things go together. I leave them down so they can put their metal in. They leave their metal off so I don't dent it when I jack the roof up to put the 4x4s in. It's a, it's a team effort doing these things. Okay, that's gonna do it for this episode. Tape measure, pencil, knife, out. I hope you have much success with your tapered exterior MDF columns wrapped around pressure treated 4x4s. That's the first time I said all of those together accurately. It was a pretty good day. Now, now I can say it was a pretty good day. There I go rhyming again. Thank you for watching Tape Measure Pencil Knife, How to Build a Tapered Column. And I'll see you next time. forgot whatever you do after you watch this video no matter what your plans are I hope you do that instead of screenshot this and figure out why the side of my trailer has a QR code don't screenshot that don't figure that one out that's I'm telling you right now don't do it <laughs> Thank you.